This is Nina Curley of Lambda Media. I'm here with Lara Tarakjian, the Managing Director of Silcor, a regional laser medical center chain. Um, we're sitting here in the Silcor offices. Lara, how are you? Fine, how are you? Excellent. Um, so let's just start off with what inspired you and your brother, I guess, to start Silcor, and what was it like to start a business back then? What inspired us is that we were hairy in the family. <laughs> <laughs> there was always this debate about why can't they just come up with something that removes hair permanently. The laser hair removal machine was there and this is seriously how the idea came, um, uh, came up. So back then, uh, uh, as we were saying, you know, we were not really called entrepreneurs. You know, nowadays being an entrepreneur is very hip, it's very in. Back then we were, uh, I graduated as an engineer, my brother graduated as an engineer, we couldn't really find a job. Okay, we were smart, but we couldn't find a job. So we ended up with uh, Silcar. This is somehow how it started. From day one, we had a dream. We, you know, we closed our ears. We didn't want to listen to whatever everybody is saying because no one pushed us. Was there a moment when you were nervous that you wouldn't succeed? Um, or was there a moment when you realized that, yes, in fact, this very well might succeed? So the beginnings were hard. So the phone wouldn't ring, no walk-ins, nobody would come. So it was really hard to let the business pick up. We never thought that we're not succeeding, what are we going to do? We always had in mind, what are we going to do so that it succeeds? So we used everything, you know, in terms of my niece did the first advertising, uh, you know, our friends did the word of mouth, we used to go out at parties, we used to talk, we used to advertise to Silcar, supposedly we're clients of Silcar. Seriously, we did everything because we didn't have the money as well. The moment we thought it might, it will succeed is back in 2003 when my brother and I went, so you're talking maybe like four or five years later, when we went to France and we went to a congress there and we could see the potential. But then, when I came back, I decided that's it. I'm not looking for a job. I'm putting everything on the side, and I just want to go for Silcar. And my brother was there. We decided, and this is when it all started. So now you have several um, several outlets throughout Lebanon, and you said you're also in the UAE, Qatar, Irbil in Iraq, and uh, Oman. Yes. And you're thinking of expanding into Kuwait, Saudi, and and London. Um, what are the challenges of expanding? Every time we opened, or either we bought or rented or whatever, or you know, a, a new location, something happens in Lebanon. Every single time, seriously. Every single location, there's something. So this is one main challenge. The second challenge now is, you know, when you venture into new countries, we're the only chain that works in so many different countries. Like even we're the only, if you want, uh, we don't, we're not French, we don't have franchise. We fully own the centers, all of them. So it's a big challenge because you have to understand the laws, the licensing issues of each country. You need to fly Lebanese women to work in these countries. So you, sometimes you need to even talk to their parents, you know, it's a family. All the staff, they're all women, by the way. We are a 99% women uh, organization. So they make you feel at home. You would want them to be, you know, all the same. People coming in for, let's say, to our Solidaire branch, and if, you, if they go to our Jumeirah Beach Road branch in Dubai, they would feel the same. Do you have any quick words of advice for women entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs starting up in Lebanon about how they should think about their business today? Just don't listen to people, <laughs> you know. There's a, there's a sentence in Arabic, I've heard it like a million times. Shu sayir alayke. It means like, you know, you're an engineer, you're a great person, you have a degree from the university. It's like, why are you doing this? If you have an idea, you know, the funds, they will come. Today you have like a million people who are willing to invest and fund and etc. Back then it was so hard to get just one loan for us from the bank. So if you have a dream, just go for it. Have faith, have passion. And there's a lot of hard work involved, you know. When I was 18, now I'm thir today I'm 33, there are a lot of things I didn't do. You know, I missed out a lot of, you know, fun opportunities, etc. because I was here. But today I'm very happy. So, uh, so if hard work is there, passion is there, faith is there, the idea is great, there is no way it cannot succeed. No way. No way. And surround yourself by people who understand more than you do the business. You know, because your role is to manage those people. 
but you again you need to learn today I can do anything at Silkar like all the jobs from the cleaning till who I am today you know as a managing director I can do all the positions if you don't know how to do it your staff will not look up to you Thank you.